On March 11, 2011, a powerful earthquake off the coast of Japan triggered a 30-foot tsunami causing mass destruction and crippling the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. There was massive release of radioactive material. The conditions were relatively austere. They were staying in condemned buildings, living out of sleeping bags, driving on, on roads that would normally not be driven on under, under uh, less urgent conditions. The U.S. government quickly offered access to its best nuclear and emergency response experts, including ORAU's National Security and Emergency Management Team. We have two staff members on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week to support the nuclear incident team. And we got called in and within two hours we were in the uh, nuclear incident team room. The nuclear incident team at DOE's Washington, D.C. headquarters served as the point of coordination for all responding DOE assets and personnel deployed to Japan. We were gathering information from those personnel, uh, consolidating it, um, pr providing it for management uh, in the Department of Energy so that they could assist them in making decisions. Some decisions were made with the help of the Radiological Assessment and Monitoring System Network a pre-existing asset ORAU first developed in collaboration with the NNSA Office of Emergency Response to support DOE's Federal Radiological Monitoring and Assessment Center. It helps um, gather radiological monitoring data that's collected out in the field and assists uh, the scientists and decision makers in uh, characterizing uh, the amount of radiation that's been released. Within 48 hours, ORAU emergency preparedness experts were deployed to Japan to support DOE senior energy officials at the U.S. Embassy and U.S. Air Base in Yokota. When there's an actual release of radioactive material, there's a sense of urgency. Um, that's when you need cooler heads to prevail, and there were a lot of really smart people doing very smart things on the fly the ORAU team, as well as individuals from other organizations, was recognized for their support of the U.S. response effort when Energy Secretary Stephen Chu presented them with the U.S. Department of Energy Secretarial Honor Award. Most of us, myself included, uh, do this kind of work because we believe in the mission and we believe uh, that what we're doing is important. 